some sad news um, that I'd like to uh, bring to you guys' attention. The ex-English gangster turned author and celebrity David John Courtney, widely known as Dave Courtney, has tragically passed away. His sudden demise has sent shockwaves through the community, leaving many in a state of profound disbelief and sorrow. In a tragic turn of events, Dave Courtney has taken his own life following a mental health struggle. It is alleged that he used a self-inflicted gunshot during the early hours at 4am this morning. The unexpected and heart-wrenching nature of his decision has left the community in a state of confusion and profound grief. Many are finding it challenging to understand the motivations behind this devastating incident. My sympathies and heartfelt support are extended to his bereaved family, especially his elder mother, for whom Dave held a central place in her life, as well as his daughter Courtney. This loss is deeply saddening and impactful tragedy for those who were acquainted with him. David John Courtney, an English ex-gangster turned author and celebrity, hails from Bermondsey, London, and attended Adams Real Primary School in Sydenham, South East London. Courtney often emphasises his associations with figures like Reggie Cray and Lenny McLean. Despite being only nine years old when Cray was imprisoned, he has made bold claims about surviving shootings, stabbings, nose biting incidents and even having taken lives in self defence. He suggested that a car crash on the M twenty was an attempt on his life by someone with a grudge, referring to him as Dave Courtney OBE. His club Stead residence, Camelot Castle, is adorned with patriotic symbols a knightly self-portrait, and a large knuckle duster. Courtney asserts involvement in debt collection, club security, assault, smuggling, and even murder. He alleges having served time in Belmarsh Prison as a high-security inmate, a claim supported by ex-prison guard Jim Dawkins in his book, the loose screw. Additionally, Courtney claims to have been acquitted in 19 separate trials as documented in his book, Fuck the Ride. Courtney has transitioned into the role of an author with a total of six published books to his name, including titles like Stop the Ride, I Want to Get Off, Raving Lunacy, Dodgy Dave's Little Black Book, The Ride's Back On, Fuck the Ride, and Heroes and Villains. He also ventured into the film industry, both as an actor and a producer, with his own project titled Hell to Pay. In addition, he played the prominent character of Mad Dave, alongside Manish Patel, in the low-budget British film Triads, Yardies and Onion Bargies. <laughs> Primarily sustaining himself through television documentaries and personal appearances, Courtney managed his own website, engaged in charitable <coughs> endeavours and contributed to films such as Six Bend Trap and Clubbing to Death alongside Craig Charles and Nick Moran. Notably, he feared in, featured in the 2008 movie The Dead Sleep Easy, filmed in Mexico, collaborating with director Liam Galvin. He worked on two DVDs, Dave Courtney's Dodgy DVD and Dave Courtney Even Dodgier, both distributed by 
gangster videos. She teamed up with Lynn Galvin again in the 2010 film Killer Bitch and the 2016 film Mob Handed. In 2020, he played the role of club owner Mr. Townsend in the film Mother's Child, sharing the screen with actors like Alex Reed, Sway Lee Lofane, and Lee Westwick. This movie was released globally through various platforms including Amazon Prime, DVD and Blu-ray. Courtney's relationship status appears to be a topic he likes to keep quite private. However, he has been married before to Jennifer Lecree Pinto, who he met while she was working at a nightclub Courtney owned. But their relationship hit the rocks in 2004 when Courtney was accused of beating Pinto during a row over her then lesbian lover, he was later cleared of all charges. Many people expressed their profound sympathies to his family and expressed how much they loved him. The unexpected loss of Dave Courtney has deeply saddened many. Despite the labels of gangster or villain, those who knew him well have emphasised his inherent kindness and goodness, a sentiment reflected in the heartfelt condolences from those close to him. His passing has sparked conversations about the urgent need for great awareness and support for mental health issues. It serves as a poignant reminder that individuals who may appear tough on the outside can wrestle with their inner challenges, underscoring the importance of empathy and understanding. This tragedy underscores the need to remove the stigma surrounding mental health concerns and creating an environment where people are comfortable seeking help when required. My condolences do go out to... Uh, <coughs> Dave's mum and Dave Courtney's immediate family. Um, rest in peace, Dave Courtney. You're at peace with yourself now, sir.